it's back by far. After, well, personally, United Pack was my favorite. Now, this would be my favorite if I have money to spin, but no. Uh, let's go with one Boston. One Boston is Gold Poacher. As, as, as it is, he has finishing that can be 90. Uh, you can increase his dribbling to be... Uh, dribbling and tight possession to be 80, and that, that you are fine with that. He has better balance than Haaland. So, so when you increase his acceleration to around uh, almost 80, he, he would have better balance than Haaland. Uh, uh, the lack of stamina is a little bit tricky with him. Uh, finishing you increase on around 90. You don't need to touch uh, pa uh, passing. 65 is completely good for uh, Gold Poacher. Um, the speed you need to increase to almost uh, a 90 and uh, sorry, not 90, almost an 80. And will his offensive awareness is going to be 90 as well. So he is going to be robust, strong player with uh, hard shooting because his kicking power is going to be almost 88 and his finishing is 90 so so imagine leaving him room for long uh, for the long shots for the any kind of shots he, he he would be absolute beast look at this long range shooting rising shot acrobatic finishing first time shot chip shot control Hill trick, you name it. Even though people and and it's unpopular opinion, I believe as as uh, he's not agile. Uh, I can say that he's not Romario. He's not uh, Michael Owen. He's not. But those are the players who are for possession style and and also to be partnered with someone. Him, you can have. Uh, two on the wings, you can have two in the attack. Um, you can have him as a one striker. He is going to be absolute beast in in, in that performance, actually. So yeah, one Boston, absolute beast. So uh, as much as um, everyone is going to say Epic Romario is the best player, I would say, uh, well, categorized. Uh, that Van Basten is the best goal poacher. Then comes uh, Ruud van Nistelrooy afterwards. Then comes Haaland, then comes Vlahovic. Sorry, 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 sorry. Then comes Lewandowski, then comes Haaland, then comes Vlahovic. So, so that, that is how you rank them. Ruud Gullit, classic number 10, but Ruud, as you can see from... Well, let me just uh, turn off the camera for, for a bit. As you can see from this, Ruud can play everywhere on the position. He can be centre back, he can be defensive, he can be flanker, he can be anything. Uh, balance is not good, but you can increase his balance when you increase his acceleration because his offensive awareness needs to be around 80 with everything that. Uh, now, what? Now the key thing with one uh, with Ruud Gullit is: Are you going to play him as a centre midfielder, strong, defensive? Or you are going to have a strong, tall uh, center midfielder who is going to be a little bit in, in the offense. And if you go with the offense, so you need to increase his tight possession to 75. A low pass needs to be around 85. And finishing needs to be around 75 and even higher if you can. Speed needs to be around 80 to 83. Kicking power around 90 and you will have the best advanced midfielder even even you can have him as a striker partner with one with one Boston as well so 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 all around he is going to be almost good as Gakpo so 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 yeah uh, he has jumping 78 he has physical 80 so so you can increase that as well it depends what you want i would prefer him to be a tall uh, advanced midfielder with dribbling around 75, tight possession 75, low pass around 85, finishing around 75, 
and the rest is going to be allocated on uh, speed and acceleration. That that is how I would do on, on him. And you will not. And you look at this: acrobatic finishing, one touch pass, through passing, outside curler, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, rising shot, long range shooting. Basically, this guy cannot lose the ball, and when he loses the ball, he will win it immediately. So yeah. Overall, Ruth Good is another signing that you need to have in your team. Raika is the player that can play advanced midfielder, slightly, center midfielder, defensive midfielder, and uh, center back. Uh, because he's orchestrator, you can increase his defensive awareness around 80. Uh, low pass and lofted pass needs to be around 85. Height possession, ball control, a dribbling needs to be. Ball control and hand possession are key attributes here, so they can they need to be around 82. Uh, finishing needs to be also around 75. And then the rest you need to allocate on his speed and acceleration that you have. And and honestly, Araikar is also a beast, also also a beast of of defender, of midfielder as well. So imagine having Kaka. As advanced midfielder, Araika as a defensive midfielder, and Goit as a center midfielder. You will have the perfect wall of passers and 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 and, and two strong midfielders that can no one no one breach actually. So yeah, Raikard is also the one you need to chase as well. The rest of the packs are decent players, but I, I don't believe that Konami is going to give us anytime soon the, the, the best pack like this. This is by far the best pack in, in, in the game so far of the big times ever. This is the best pack, honestly. This pack worth chasing 